This is a stunning 2021 on a 71 registration Tesla Model 3 and importantly it is the long range variant um, so that means this of all the Model 3s available this has got the most range available and therefore it's also the most desirable Model 3 um, and as a result you can't actually order one of these and receive it until they're, they're currently stating Q1 of 2023. Um, so it's at least six to eight months away. Um, and realistically, with the way things are going at the moment, that's probably gonna be even longer. Um, so this is one of the later ones physically available at the moment. It's covered just over 5,000 miles and it's one owner from new. Um, so a lovely, lovely car, lovely provenance. Um, and then we think a very nice color as well it's finished in solid black with the black interior which we'll get to as we go around the car um, but it looks very well in black with being being a 2021 car it's the better quality build cars and you can tell that because of the black surrounds to all the windows and the door handles etc on the older cars they're actually chrome um, and it, that goes very well with the black paint and the aero wheel covers which you'll see are in a, in a gray color as well um, but starting around the front, being a Tesla, pretty much everything is standard. Um, there's a couple of options, but they're just to do with the autopilot. Um, and even if the car isn't specified with them from factory, you can actually simply download them through the app on the phone. Um, obviously it costs a bit of money, but you can add any of the options to this car. Um, but it comes with a lot of features as standard. So starting around the front, you've got these LED headlights and these have automatic high beam and they do go around corners as well. Um, so all adjustable he LED headlights. And then being an electric car, there's no grills or anything. It's a completely smooth front end. Um, and again, because there's no engine, under the front here, you've actually got a bit of a front boot. So I'll just show you quickly. Basically, your phone is a key. So if I show you the app here, you'll see I can control everything on the car through the phone here, um, including opening the front here. And that opens the front bonnet. And then if I come around here, it just lifts straight up. So you've got the front, 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 they call it here, the front boot. Um, so a bit of extra storage space, enough to get a couple of bags in there or shopping, etc and then just nice and easy to just shut that down. And then coming around the sides, as I mentioned before, it's got these 18 inch aero wheels. Um, so these are actually a wheel cover. If you don't like the design on these, you can pull those uh, aero covers straight off. But I personally think they look okay. And also they make perfect sense because with the aero covers on, the car actually achieves 15 miles more range um, than it does versus having the 19 inch sport wheels. Um, so I think if you're buying an electric car and you're worried about range, it makes perfect sense to leave those uh, wheel covers on. Coming around the sides, you'll start to see these cameras. So these are actually all cameras to do with the autopilot system and the 360 degree. There's one in the door uh, B pillar here. So, um, and the door handles are nice and flush. They're a push in and pull. And then if you have a look inside, you'll get a glimpse at the very simplistic interior, all finished in nice quality leather um, with that huge 15 inch touch screen in the middle there in the landscape orientation and it's got a double panoramic roof as well this car so it's very spacious on the inside the whole roof is glass and it's split into two sections because this rear section comes all the way down to the bottom of the boot here um, so a very long piece of glass on the back there and i'll show you very quickly in the rear here Again, very simplistic, but the car's got heated rear seats, heated front seats, heated steering wheel. There's just tons of spec on these cars that comes as standard. And again, being an electric car, the floor's completely flat, so there's no lump in the middle for the third passenger. Um, so it's much easier to get three people in the back of a Tesla than it is most other cars. Coming round the back, Again, you've got the LED tail lights, just a, again, very simplistic, you know, there's no exhaust pipes because there's no need on an electric motor. Um, dual motor is the sign that it's a long range because it's got the two motors, one on the front and one on the back, which also means that the car is technically four wheel drive. Um, so it should be a bit better in the winter than a standard car. Um, and one of the upgrades of it being the later models and the better build quality is that it's a power boot. Um, so you just push the button and the boot will open itself there. And again, a nice big boot in here. It's very deep, goes all the way back to the rear seats. And you've also got storage under here for your charging cables, which on this car have actually never been used yet. And then there's a button up here for closing the boot. And that closes itself back down. 
And then if we come around the driver's side, I'll jump in the car now. And again, the car does come with two credit cards, which are effectively the keys. But the idea is that you connect your phone to the car. So because my phone's in my pocket, I actually haven't got either of the credit card keys, but it's all unlocked and it will start up just as a result of my phone being near the car. Um, all electric windows, as you would expect. All of the door mirrors are power folding and electrically adjustable, but that's all done through the center screen. And you've got a door release button there as well to electronically release the doors. And if I jump in, as soon as I put my foot on the brake, the car turns on. So it will move my seat into the memory position that it's set into. And they're big electrically adjustable seats, lumbar support, etc., from your traditional seat position controls there. And then again, as, as we've sort of touched on, you've got this huge 15 inch touch screen, which is what everything is controlled through. So you've got your big navigation here. It's very easy to use. It's all run through Google Maps. So you can just type in a postcode straight away and it will take you straight there. You can control the car from this side. And then if you go in here, you've got all of sort of your door, door mirror controls, um, auto high beam assist, as I mentioned before, glove box, wipers, um, there's all sorts of like, you can turn a sen sentry is basically a dash cam for when you're not in the car, so it'll record what's going on. But I can press the cameras button here and it will bring up the cameras as well. So that's currently just showing. That's now a forwards camera. If I put the car into reverse, you've got a reverse camera there as well. And then if I put that into park, it thinks a lot. I've if you put it into park, it basically turns the car off, hence the steering wheel's going back and it's lifting me up. Um, but if I just click on here quickly, you'll see you've got the heated seats. So that's for the passenger there, one for the driver here. You've got heated steering wheel, heated rear seats as well. There's all sorts of, um, all sorts of options and specification in these cars, which comes as standard. Um, they're very well thought about. Um, but I'll jump out the car. Oh, also, one thing before I jump out, um, you'll see just beneath the screen here, there's a dual wireless phone charging pad. Um, so whilst you're driving along, you can just pop your phone on there and it will charge your phone whilst you're going along. It's very, it's just very user friendly, very easy to get in and go straight to your destination. And if I jump out the car, if again, with the phone being my key, if I was to walk away now, as soon as I got more than say 10, 15 meters away, the car would lock itself um, just because it notices that I've gone away. It's very clever. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, a one owner car covered just over 5,000 miles. You can't order one of these, so you'd have to wait a very long time if you did want to order a brand new one. This one is physically available now. We think in a lovely color specification. And like I say, there is, there is barely any options you can choose. So there's, you're not missing out on anything. So my name's Ben. I hope the video's helped and give us a call if you're interested. Thank you.